गुड मॉर्निंग डियर फ्रेंड माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर सी एस आहिर एम ई जी कॉलेज मालेगाँव कैम मालेगाँव सो इन एफ आई बी एस सी केमिस्ट्री सी एच वन जीरो वन फिजिकल केमिस्ट्री चैप्टर वन केमिकल एनर्जेटिक्स सो इन दिस चैप्टर वी स्टडी ऑल द लॉज ऑफ थर्मोडाइनमिक्स हीट ऑफ फॉर्मेशन हीट ऑफ सबलिमेशन ऑल अनदर ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन ऑफ हीट्स सो टूडेज लेक्चर वी कंसिडर सम प्रॉब्लम बेस्ड ऑन फर्स्ट चैप्टर सो सी द फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम एंथल पी फॉर्मेशन ऑफ कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड एंड वाटर गैस स्टेड लिक्विड स्टेड अंडर स्टैंडर्ड कंडीशंस आर की वन सो दीज आर द वैल्यूज ऑफ एंथल पी ऑफ फॉर्मेशन ऑफ कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड एंथल पी ऑफ फॉर्मेशन ऑफ लिक्विड वाटर इफ द स्टैंडर्ड एंथल पी ऑफ कंबर्शन ऑफ एसिटल डेड इज गिवन दैट वैल्यू इज ऑल्सो गिवन इन किलो जूल पर मोल and they asked to find out the enthalpy of formation of acetaldehyde so find its enthalpy of formation so read the problem carefully so what is the given data so in given data they gives heat of or enthalpy of formation of carbon dioxide water molecule and combustion of acetaldehyde so we write this reaction oxide formation of carbon dioxide carbon oxide oxygen combine to form carbon dioxide hydrogen oxygen gas combine to form liquid water so this energies are negative heat of formation is negative this acetaldehyde undergo oxidation burning in presence of oxygen to form carbon dioxide water molecule that energy also given in kilojoule heat of combustion of acetaldehyde so in this problem we consider this heat of formation values for the reaction that is formation of acetaldehyde carbon combine with hydrogen plus oxygen to form acetaldehyde but these all starting material are present in elemental state so its heat of formation according to the law we consider it as a zero so this reaction is not useful to calculate heat of formation of acetaldehyde and thus we consider this c third reaction combustion of acetaldehyde for calculation of heat of formation of acetaldehyde c let's consider this heat of formation of acetaldehyde is x kilojoule or regular equation so this heat of reaction standard this is zero indicate standard enthalpy of standard reaction is equal to summation of enthalpies of product at standard condition minus summation of enthalpies of reactant at standard condition so by applying this equation or this formula for this c reaction so we get this c in this c reaction this carbon dioxide water molecules are the products so two mole of carbon dioxide to multiply that heat by 2 2 mole of water molecules to multiply it of formation water by 2 in this second summation that is reactant what is present this acetaldehyde so heat of formation of acetaldehyde heat of formation of water oxygen multiplying factor this is this is one mole so we multiply or we don't show this one multiply by one this 5 by 2 is multiplied to the heat of formation of oxygen so according to just now we say this according to the laws of heat of formation this oxygen present in its elemental state so this heat of formation of oxygen is zero so 5 by 2 into 0 is zero so this factor becomes zero so next step of equation is as it is heat of combustion of acetaldehyde 2 into we write this values heat of formations of carbon dioxide is given heat of formation of water molecule is given combustion of acetaldehyde is given all these three values are put in this appropriate places and we assume this heat of formation of acetaldehyde is x again we put this x value so our aim from this equation is to calculate value of x so multiply by 2 we open the brackets and rearranging the term we get the value of x as a minus 193.36 kilojoule and this x value is a heat of formation of acetaldehyde this is the heat of formation of acetaldehyde and hence in this problem we solve this problem to calculate enthalpy of formation of acetaldehyde so this is our first problem so similar type of problem is asked in examination so reaction is changes values are changes but formula remains same like of using this formula we calculate this heat of formation of any substances 
so consider next go to the next page that is enthalpy of neutralization so in theoretical part we already completed this enthalpy of neutralization or heat of neutralization so this 1 gram of acid is neutralized by 1 gram of equivalent amount of base that is the heat of a neutralization reaction and at that time in dilute aqueous solution at that time this heat evolved is called as a enthalpy of neutralization or heat of neutralization so when we consider one gram equivalent that is one mole of acid and one mole of strong base both are strong at that time for example this reaction in which combined with hcl in aqueous medium to form salt and water this heat of reaction is minus 57.1 kilojoule in some book they write minus 57.3 so doesn't matter so what is the value you use that is considered for your solving the problem so this is the theoretical part so all strong acid combined with strong base so same amount of heat is released so we complete this part in theoretical lecture so this is a neutralization reaction so when one of the is one of the acid or base is weak for example this acidic acid is weak at that time this acid produced by acidic acid that much acid is neutralized by strong base so this value of neutralization as compared to strong acid strong base this value of neutralization of weak acid is somewhat less than this standard value so based on this theoretical part we consider a second problem determine the amount of heat release when 0.75 moles of nitric acid neutralized by 0.75 moles of NH base so in this case both acid and base are strong instead of one mole they gives 0.75 mole both acid and base present in same molar quantity so see how we solve this problem here so we write the reaction acid combined with base to form salt and water and we know this one mole of nitric acid combined with one mole of NH at that time that it is release it is constant but in this case instead of one mole they gives only 0.75 mole less than 1 mole and thus this neutralization takes place only at this molar quantity so we multiply this heat release by that molar quantity of acid and base and with this values comes out to be 42.8 kilojoule which is less than 57.1 why because this we reduce the amount of acid as well as base and thus this heat release is also less see second problem b 0.75 mole of acid is neutralized by 0.5 moles of koh it's clearly neutralized by 0.5 mole of koh so in this case this molar quantities are different acid and base both are strong so how we solve we write this reaction get salt and water this came with cl combined with koh use kcl plus h2o so molar quantities in this reaction this only 0.5 moles of iron undergo neutralization and this excess amount of 0.25 moles of acid is unreacted or unneutralized so this oh combined with h plus this oh quantity is limited that much amount of oh is combined with h plus remaining h plus is unreacted or unneutralized so this lower values of mole fraction is considered for the heat of calculation so heat release will be 57.1 into 0.5 not 0.74 75 so only 0.5 moles of acid combined with base remaining part is unreacted so multiply this we get 28.5 kilojoule so this much amount of heat is released when this proportion of acid combined with base see the third problem so instead of molar quantity they gives volume moles so 200 ml of 0.2 molar sulfuric acid again strong acid is mixed with 300 ml of 0.1 mole of NaOH again strong base in solution so calculate the rise in temperature so in theoretical part we don't consider this rise in temperature so this problem we consider for problem solving also theoretical or formulas formula to calculate rise in temperature so see how we calculate this rise in temperature so there is no direct calculation of rise in temperature first of all we calculate heat of reaction heat 
formation of reaction and then we go for rise in temperature see how we solve this problem so what is given solution volume and molar concentration of acid and base are given see solution for part c so the reaction is sulfuric acid combined with NaOH to form salt and water so in this case this sulfuric acid is a dibasic acid one acid molecule produce 2H plus ion so for combination of one acid we required two moles of base so this one acid combined with two moles of base so this is the actual balanced chemical reaction to produce sodium sulfate and two moles of water molecule so what is given for acid 200 ml of 0.2 molar sulfuric acid so we convert this molar quantity into number of moles so 200 into 0.2 but in this case this acid produced 2 H plus ion so multiply this by 2 2 moles of H plus ion into 200 ml into 0.2 molar quantity divided by 1000 so we go it for this 1000 is for molar quantity for 1 liter so we get calculation as 0.808 moles of H plus ion similar for base 300 ml of 0.1 norm molar NaOH so NaOH produce only 1 OH minus ion 300 into 0.1 divided by 1000 for 1 liter we get values is 0 0.03 moles of OH minus so now this problem become similar to that of problem B moles of acid and moles of base is given in different quantity so we know this only limited amount of OH minus is present so that much amount of base is neutralized by acid this excess acid remains unreacted so we write this here the excess amount of acid is not takes place in neutralization so this what are be the heat produced by this so in this solution it depends upon 0.03 moles of OH minus ion so this is the combination of H plus with OH minus so heat evolved for this reaction is 57.1 into 0.03 equal with 1.7 kilojoule now we convert this kilojoule into joule multiplied by 1000 see now this theoretical part important part which do not consider in theory lecture to calculate the rise in temperature use the relation so this is the relation mass mass of solution mass of any acid or combination of acid and base into specific heat into rise in temperature is equal with heat evolved so whatever be the heat evolved is distributed this heat evolved is distributed for mass of solution specific heat of that solution and rise in temperature so in our problem see there is rise in temperature so we write this formula for rise in temperature so rise in temperature remain in this side these two factor that is mass and specific heat is shifted to in direction so heat evolved upon mass into specific heat so this is our formula for calculating rise in temperature when this much combination of acid and base combined so what is the heat producer that heat produce used for rise in temperature so for that what we require specific heat so in this case the specific heat of water is 4.18 joule when we consider the specific heat in joule so we consider the CT what is also in joule quantity similar quantity these units are same what is the mass so in this case this mass means volume this volume are given 200 ml of acid 5 sorry 300 ml of base is given so total 500 ml of solutions are present we assume this density of solution is 1 so this mass of that solution total solution is 500 gram so write this 500 specific heat 4.9 this heat evolved is in joule quantity so mul calculate this so cal see see the prints FYBC you use calculator calculator is allowed so we solve this problem on calculator so final answer is 0 0.8 so what is this 0 0.8 this 0 0.8 is rise in temperature so unit is degree 0 0.8 degree of temperature is rise by this neutralization reaction by using this heat all so this is our second problem so in this problem we study new concept that is to calculate rise in temperature by using this neutralization reaction or heat evolved by the reaction
we go for the next step so in theory we consider this all kinds of heat of reaction that is enthalpy of reaction heat of solution so this part we completed in theory differential heat of reaction heat of hydration we get this is the example for hydration reaction heat of fusion solid to liquid heat of vaporization liquid is converted into gases form heat change up for that transformation heat of sublimation this solid is converted into directly in gaseous state at that time this heat change is called as a heat of sublimation then the last part is bond energy or bond enthalpy so this is also we completed in theoretical part so what is bond energy this amount of heat release when one mole of bond are formed from its isolated gas or reverse way this amount of energy required to break that bond into its gaseous atom both this heat is same in formation this heat is evolved in breaking or broken or broke that bond we supplied heat this heat required means it supplied this heat release amount is same the sign is only change so the atomic molecule polyatomic molecule we consider this average bond energy of this four bonds so what is the formula the heat of reaction to be calculated by using the bond energy data so formula is delta h of reaction is equal to summation of bond energy of reactant minus summation of bond energy of product so see carefully see the difference in this case this summation of bond energy of reactant is first and then minus summation of bond energy of product are given so consider one problem similar problem we consider for the theory lecture problem calculate the enthalpy change for this reaction this hydrogen gas combine with bromine gas to form two molecule of hbr gas so for given that the bond energy of hydrogen bond energy of this hydrogen molecule that is hh bond hbr bond brbr bond hbr bonds are given here respective energies in kilojoule per mole so what is our formula heat of reaction is equal to summation of bond energy of reactant minus summation of bond energy of products so this hydrogen bromine are the reactants these are the two reactants so both are present in one one mole so we write this energy of bond energy of hydrogen molecule 435 bond energy of brbr molecule that is brbr bond that's 192 minus see this hbr present in two moles so whatever the energy of bond energy that is multiplied by 2 so 2 into bond energy of hbr bond is 364 so multiply it by by open the bracket so all this example we get this delta h of reaction is minus 101 kilojoule so this is the energy change for the reaction given in this reaction that is delta h of reaction is minus 101 kilojoule so so in this lecture we completed this much problems so we have the lot of problem based on this formulas so go through the manali publication book solve the problem and write it in your notebook that is very important you should write this problem in your notebook solve problem or you solve by you problem all problems are noted in your notebook then and then you go for the uh, exam preparation thank you